Good ah. morning, your mother fucking sunshines. Hell yeah, back on trail, man. Shit. Been too goddamn long. Here with the legendary Roscoe P. Waggle Tails. Out here on the Art Lobe Trail, man. Western North Carolina. Legendary fucking trail. This trail's fucking awesome. 32 miles. I've attempted this trail twice now this winter. Was gonna film both of them. And uh, had to fucking bail. Snow up here 6,000 feet, man. That was brutal. We were, I was out here with a YouTube subscriber back in December. We were post hauling and shit on top of sideways rain and fucking freezing. Fuck that shit, we bailed. So we got a stretch of good weather the next couple days. I got a couple days off of work. Took a $40 Uber ride to get here. <laughs> well worth it, man. Uh, new pack, new tent, which I will finally fucking show you guys because Hyperlight will be releasing that soon. All right, not bullshit for me. Roscoe's raring to go. What do you say there, bub? Let's get on down the trail, man. It's gonna be a great fucking day. So what the fuck have I been up to all goddamn winter long? Well, nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why I'm breathing so fucking heavy right now. That was a gnarly climb out of there. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna go and bash you fucking crazy in town, man. I, I was riding a high for like a good two months, I would say, after I got done with the AT. And then the whole fucking post-trail depression thing set in big time and I got real fucking bad. Um, mainly because I haven't been able to get out and hike. And if they usually follow me, no, I need this shit in my life for my sanity. Well, you take that out of it, take hiking out of my life, and I'm fucked. So, yeah, the last couple months have been real bad. And uh, say I, say today I decided to just bite the bullet, pay for a ride out here, because I need a fucking trail time with my hound dog, and he needs it too. So, uh, I'll take the sweat, I'll take the pain. You get my uh, my legs feel fine. It's just a lung capacity. I can get back up, but it just feels fucking great to be walking with some weight on my back again, man. Hell yeah. Fucking quiet, man. I've been craving this shit. Silence, I miss that. You don't get that shit in town, man, ever. <sighs> All right, motherfuckers. This spot was quicker than I thought. Um, I thought it was like seven miles in, but I must have been shorter than that. I've only been hiking for like two hours, so. Um, this is the one I attempted the art low last time. This is where we camped at. Um, so I knew of this spot. I knew there was no water up here. The last water I passed was like a quarter mile back. So I think we'll set up here again. It's a fucking nice flat ground. We got a nice cat, uh, fire pit. And uh, I mean, it's fucking early, but I'll set it back and get some water for tonight and uh, call it good, man. As you can see, a new pack, new plaid shirt. Yeah, don't give me shit. I'm not wearing black, but PCT, man, I'm hiking through the desert. I gotta have long sleeves. So. Um, this will work. It's nice and breathable. This is a Columbia Silver Ridge. Nice and breathable, light. Uh, hell yeah, I'll take it. But, all right, I'm going to stay here a little bit, relax with my dog, and then we'll uh, think about setting up camp and go grabbing some fucking water, man. Hell yeah. All right, fuckers. You want to see the new goddamn tent? <laughs> here you go. Oh, no. <laughs> this is it, boys and girls. This is the new hyper. Shut up, Roscoe. God damn, man. I'm trying to do a product review. Shit. 
Hyperlight Mountain Gear two-person trail tent. I don't know what the name is. It comes out on Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so uh, I'm sure they have a quick kick-ass name for it. But right when they sent it to me, it was called the two-person trail tent. So this is not the tent that I use on the AT. The one they sent me was a one-person prototype, and I used that for half the trail, which it kicked ass basically. Um, now this is the two-person tent they sent to me. This after the fact. And um, I've only slept in this thing one time at this actually very spot when I was uh, attempted the art load last time in December. So, and it kicked ass. It was windy as fuck, sideways, rain, freezing. Didn't have any condensation in it. It was fucking awesome. So, um, I don't know the exact weight on this thing. So, don't, I'm not going to give you fucking numbers. I don't really fucking know. Um, like I said, when it's released Thursday, they have all the, the specs on it um, when it comes out on their website. But, uh, yeah, it's basically... Uh, Eight stakes, so you don't need eight stakes. You can set it up with six. The two extra ones are for the sides there. Uh, if you can give you a little more head and feet room if you want, but this thing is as spacious as shit. Um, just as much room as the duplex when I had that thing, so hell yeah. Um, it's got two vestibules and two doors. Um, and it's got clips on either end. There's little toggles you can <clears throat> take off and then zip. Uh, both doors close like this side is right here. Let's see. So there you go. You can close both door, both doors, both vestibules. Um, yeah, standard trekking pole, two-person tent. Uh, now the insides, they have these uh, D-style doors on both sides, <clears throat> and then there's a toggle. There you can see there's a toggle on the inside too on one of these. I can't remember which one. Um, oh, on this on the other side. So you can, you know, zip these back and, and keep the doors back. All right, motherfuckers, now all up inside this bitch. Plenty enough fucking room. I'm five foot eleven. I'm sitting straight the fuck up. I have still like six inches above my head. Now it is the pyramid design, so you got to kind of sit in the middle to do that. But it's not a big fucking deal. Um, <clears throat> this thing's got plenty of fucking room, man. It's nice. I can keep all my gear in here, no fucking problem. But you do have the two doors and two vestibules on either side if you want to keep gear on the outside. I like keeping all the fucking critters out of my shit because I spent a lot of fucking money on it. So I like keeping my gear inside. This two person tent allows me to do that, which is awesome. Now, it is a single wall tent, so condensation can be an issue. Uh, when I slept in this thing back in December, it was sideways rain, freezing, cold, all that bullshit. Did not leak in here, did not have any condensation the next morning. Now, because it is a single wall tent, that's bound to happen, but just something to be aware of. Um, and then one thing also to be aware of, because it's a single wall and the condensation might build up, and it's because it's a pyramid design, right? So if you're sleeping at night, just kind of try to sleep in the middle because it does V up, so... What I'm trying to get at is when you're sleeping at night and you, and you get up like this, if you're in the middle, you won't hit this. If you're sleeping on the side or something like that, you're bound to hit your head when you sit up and it can make the condensation drip down. So just something to be aware of. Um, but yeah, man, this thing's fucking kick ass. It's got plenty of fucking room, like I said. This is going to be my home for six months. I'm carrying this bitch on this PCT. So um, no bells and whistles, but it does have a uh, pocket up top. I mean, above the head gear loft so i like putting my headlamp in there so i can have ambient light shining down at night during camp keep my hands free and keep the headlamp off my fucking head so that is nice but yeah um i will be able to like i said i've only slept in this thing one fucking night so i have a couple nights here on the art load this time around i'll be able to tell you a little bit more about it at the end of this trip but this will be my fucking home Available at hyperlightmountaingear.com coming Thursday. By the time this video comes out, it will have been out. So go, go over there and take a look at the fucking specs, man. Hell yeah. Ah, took me a nice little nap there for an hour. <laughs> Just like an AT, man. Goddamn shit bugs. All right, I'll get some dinner going, goddamn, I'm hungry. All right, so here's the new stove. As you many of you know, I carried the uh, MSR Pocket Rocket 2. I broke two of them on the AT, so I figured, what the fuck, I'll, I'll try a new stove. I know, the Pocket Rocket's nice. I don't know why, it's just user error, probably. I broke two of them, so. 
This here uh, is made, uh, this is the Optimus Crux Light, uh, made by the Ketadyne uh, Company, and makes b freeze and all that shit too, and the Steri Pens. They reached me out to me through Instagram to see if I wanted to try out one of their Crux Lights. And I had, I've known of these stoves before. I've seen a few people use them. They, they're pretty awesome. They distribute the flame uh, a lot better than the Pocket Rocket does. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see my pot. It got fucking annihilated by the Pocket Rockets because that flame goes right in the fucking center. This thing distributes the flame a little bit more, as you'll see here in a minute. But the only thing I'm worried about is uh, how the wind's going to use, uh, if the wind's going to fucking affect blowing it out and shit. Now, for the AT, I did use my uh, sit pad for uh, the windscreen, so I'll probably end up doing that again if that becomes an issue with the stove. But we'll give it a shot, my. All right, so just so you know, that took about for a cup of water, which I used about a cup for these rice sides. About, I don't know, a minute and a half, two minutes to boil that water. Pretty damn quick. The one thing I did notice, though, is compared to my pocket rocket, is the handle got hot on this one because the flames uh, distributed more. So it goes around the fucking pot and it got my handle hot. So that's why I do carry just a little REI pack towel and, you know. You can use your buff too, whatever. Just, the handle's fucking hot. Just be careful, man. Burn your shit. I've been a line cook for damn near 10 years. You would think that I lost all feeling in my fingers, but not quite. All right. This is my favorite dinner of all time. Backpacking dinner. The broccoli cheddar rice size, crushed up Cheez-Its, and pepperoni. Fucking awesome, man. Shit never gets old. I said that about ramen a long time ago when I get old, so. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? All right. Let's dive into this shit, man. Roscoe, you're the fucking ace, so get the fuck away from my goddamn let go of my ego, bitch. Fucking awesome, man. Never gets old. And sitting here underneath a tree eating dinner never gets old either. I, I eat by myself, alone, under a fucking tree for six fucking months. Shit never gets old, man. Awesome. Not to say I'm not alone. I got you, Roscoe. I'm not trying to pretend like you're not here, okay? You know what I'm saying, bitch. All right, motherfuckers, we are losing light. Got me a nice campfire. Nice and toasty and warm. I got my bags of Hound Roscoe P. Waggle Tails. And I got the money shot. So you're enjoying my Nutella. This peace and fucking quiet that I haven't had for fucking five months. Enjoy myself. This is what I love to do. We'll holler at you motherfuckers in the morning. All my bones are dislocated, I just keep on wondering.